With four apparitions, phantom footsteps and poltergeist activity, what hides amongst the antiquities of Peterborough Museum? Once again, Mark has joined Phil Wyman's Dead Haunted Knights team to investigate this historic property. Dating back to the 1800s, the building was originally the home of Thomas and Charlotte Cook, and in later years served as the city's first hospital. Perhaps the museum's most well-known spirit is that of Sergeant Thomas Hunter, a soldier who died of his injuries after being brought to the infirmary during World War I. With the team gathered, Museum liaison Stuart Orme provided a tour of the building and informed us of further stories of alleged spirit activity. Just a couple of bits to start off with, um, as we always say, the caveats really with these things. Uh, first of all, um, we genuinely are a haunted building. We get a lot of activity reported here. At the last count, we have at least eight different ghosts around the building. I say at least eight, those are the eight that we tell people about. Um, there are various other phenomena, we're not reported, so it's not connected to any particular individual. Some we're still researching, and also other ones we don't tell people about, simply because people ask us not to. This room today is the Geology Lab. It's basically where we team volunteers who come in here and put dinosaur bones together back together again. This room is interesting to us this evening because the activity reported in here, which may be connected with its history. In the days when this building was the city's hospital, this was the operating theatre. People have felt been pushed, shoved, things sort of stand, people standing behind them, being watched. Also thought there's a small child come to visit this room as well. Um, people sometimes felt a little cold sensation in their hand if they left the hand hanging by the side, as if a small child's walked up and is trying to hold your hand. Splitting into teams, we begin the investigation in the cellar. I'm in the cellar, which must be very, very active. Um, this feels quite warm actually at the moment, but we shall see. Moving on. Is there anybody down here with us? Any spirits here with the sound of my voice? Anybody would like to communicate with us this evening? There's somebody who's down here, meaning no harm, they're here simply out of respect and interest. You make yourself known to us by making a sound, rap or tap, shows the light, move something. If there's anyone in this room who'd like to make their presence known to us, please make a sound, a tap, touch one of us, once again within reason. <laughs> You'd be more than welcome. Come on, if there's anybody here, give us a sign. Let us know that you're here. Come on, you've got eight people down here who are really wanting to see something tonight. You're never going to get a better opportunity to show off than this. If you don't want us to be down here, well, we're going to keep coming down here tonight until you do something on the wires. You're going to need to do something to show us that you really don't want us down here. We haven't got much, much longer. Please make a sign, tap on the wall, touch one of us. Yeah. Somebody's out in the hallway. Someone out in the hallway? Yeah. Did you oh. just click? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think because there's so many of us down here, it's kind of it makes you feel a bit more comfortable in a cellar, isn't it? And That's very true. That, that yeah. Yeah. So it's not not to say that it wouldn't happen. It just makes you feel a little bit more ease at ease. Last, last time I was here, I was actually yeah, I was. Just, <laughs> But now I just feel fine. You feel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I turned around just then and I thought there was someone just here. But obviously I know it's not, it's just my trick of the light. Oh, mm. right. Well, I shouldn't be trick of the light. <laughs> I think just There's a, a, like a plank of, well, not, not a plank of wood, so something leaning up there, and they go white. Oh, wow. Might be that that you yeah. can't, can't. What's it doing? The camera, that's right, the camera. Yeah. 
the camera is, this is the second time tonight the camera's been playing up while I've been down here. This camera has never had it, well, a year and a half has never ever played up. It seemed to freeze. I'm just going to take the battery out. Press, playing it in the boat. Cool. Theatre was quite busy last weekend actually, so it's interesting. Again, it seems to go in phases this place, you know, one time mm -hmm. around one part of the building will really kick off, and then another time around it's quiet as the grave. Which is a bit of an unfortunate turn of phrase. Mm. You know. <laughs> if it gets any more busy, we'll be able to cope with the NHS overflow. Just <laughs> 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 bring them to Peter <laughs> Give up on them, see when they can. We moved to the staircase on the ground floor, a place of alleged paranormal activity. Flash going up the stairs. After a break, we headed upstairs to the first floor and attempted a communication circle. Yeah. Just give me an idea, who's done this sort of thing before? Uh, okay. Yes, we've yes. been. I know you have. Been here once before? Yeah, you've been here once before. Okay, so you've done this sort of thing before. Um, anybody of you um, sensitive, mediumistic? A little bit. Psychic? I pick things up. Okay. Anybody, I'm going to have to ask this question, anybody on like medication? If you like? Right. Sounds sure. ominous. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to. Well, I just, oh yeah. I, <laughs> just in case some people um, are diabetic. Yeah. You know, they can go off on one. I need to know basically. Okay. Being sensitive, Laura was receiving feelings of a child, which seemed to affect other female team members. What's going on? Is it's going now. It's going, it's because I'm mm. stuck behind you, I'm taking it away. Is the child still here? Okay, box it off before it gets too much. Can you feel anything in this arm? Yeah. No, no. It gets worse when you say that. Keep talking. Keep talking to me. The little boy in the cellar. Mm. On the chair. Are you the woman in the cellar? The blonde lady. By the door. It's getting bad here. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. We headed upstairs to the second floor and entered the laboratory. This room has been used as a morgue when the museum was an infirmary. Are you here, Anne? Is anybody here? Must feel like making side shows, mustn't they? Because there's people obviously do these week on week on week. Yeah, they do. Saying the very the same sort of questions. If there's anyone in this room who'd like to make their presence known, could you please tap on the wall? Shut the door. Intrigued by the earlier communication circle, we decided to perform another in one of the exhibit rooms on the second floor. Is this lady with us in the middle? No, she's, she's outside. No one's she, inside the circle. Nobody? Nobody's inside the circle. You keep touching the same two ladies. Can you perhaps touch one of the other, other members of the circle just to let us know that you're here? Give us a sign. We mean you no harm. 
and hold it so. Did you touch somebody else? Laura began to sense feelings of an older lady who may have been connected to the property as a housekeeper. I think it's the man that's stopping her. The man that's stopping her. Could he, could he be connected she, to the house? Because he was, he worked, he, he, was, he was, he was, he, yeah, he yeah. was the family. So she, to, she, although she was making contact before, she has to step back because he's still in charge. So yeah. he's here as well? He's, he's the one. He's in the yeah. Okay, well stop, stop pissing Laura off. That staircase. Now push. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a bad person, it's just a sense of duty that he feels that he still has so that. So is he still trying to put her in her place? And he's doing that through you? Sure. Is she the lady that follows people? I don't know. I don't say that, but she, she does show herself to people. Can you show yourself now? Two minutes. Back to the staircase before, though, I did feel. That there was a man out on the staircase, and when we weren't out there long, but when we were coming back up, I felt like somebody had their hands around my throat, and that uh, I, I thought there was another stair at the top of the stairs, even though there was no stair. I mean, like I thought there was a stair near the door, but there was no stair there. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like my head was whacked, like head butted or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether maybe this may be the same man because mm -hmm. obviously I picked up him before I came in. This could be the man that just came in with me, maybe maybe he's not connected to this room or maybe he didn't come in with this. Really the final hour of the investigation was conducted back in the cellar with Mark and fellow team member Tim. With reports of a dark spirit in this vicinity, Tim had become quite forceful in getting a reaction from whatever may be lurking in the cellar's dark passageway. And flow it back, okay, here it goes. Hey, oh, who's that then? Who's that? Hey, oh, who's that then? Who's that? What the hell was he? Yeah. Have a look on the floor. What's big metal and bloody heavy? Wait a minute. Someone must have thrown that from here. For one, some one of us. That was really loud. I want to say, sir, so, so, was it that? Oh, yeah, look. Bloody hell. It's got some weight. Uh, Jesus, well, it's not, not one of these men. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, it's good. No one threw anything, isn't it? No. We were in there. Yeah. We were sat down in there. Did you throw that? What's this? Oh, this is a uh, night vision in Hunter, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder why it's such a big. Really <laughs> yeah, that's what me and Ian were discussing last time here. Mm. When we was discussing his night vision enhancer, that's when the uh, voice whispered in his ear. Come on then, Francis, let's have you. Hey, Hook, did you hear that? Yeah. Well, like a little groan. That well, I, I heard it was you. Like, like a... <laughs> yeah, I thought it was you. Go on then, sicko. <laughs> What we got? We got it's twenty past three. We got forty minutes yet. Okay, Francis. We're not going to be here much longer. You're probably glad to hear. I've got a little bolt in my hand, a little metal bolt. I'm going to throw it down to the end. See if you can throw it back. See if you can throw anything back. The metal item in the mannequin room has been put back on the table. Knock it off. Such a big man. Knock it off. All right, the bolt's going down the end now. Cool. Well, I, I can't see I've, any of this. I've just had, I've just had a, a, a gush of wind just go straight across my, my face there. Yeah. That was really prominent. You know, that wasn't just the atmosphere. Like electric blue light. Yeah. The electric, yeah, the one was there and the one was by the The end one. of the car actually looks worse with the tall chucks. It just it blackens does, it now, doesn't yeah. it? Come on, Francis. One loud knock. Bang. Tap. So I thought it was going to get fed in there. Somebody at the floor. And he saw it. 
Just give us a signal and then we'll leave. Hear that? Oh, cold rush. It is little. I heard one tiny tap. It could have been upstairs. Yeah, I, 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 I tapped on a bit dubious about the, yeah. the, the atmosphere of the building. The museum had been a fascinating location. Although it was generally a quiet evening, various phenomena had presented itself. Peterborough Museum definitely deserves further investigation. <laughs>